Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to a new PHP programming tutorial. So uh, let's continue our work uh, from yesterday where we created routing. So in the interest of keeping things uh, you know, easier for you guys, I want you to start working with routing and stuff instead of uh, waiting too long preparing for things. For this very reason, I will skip to these three steps and then we will go and fill the these parts. So first I will go to step nine, which is create users table. Okay, so let's go to our PHP my admin here. And I'm going to create users table. Okay, and this is gonna be uh, five columns, is right, in name, password, role, and state of five columns. And we give it a go. Wait a few seconds, and okay, so this is gonna be user ID. This is gonna be integer, it's an auto increment, and it's a primary key. Next, we have username. Okay, this is gonna be varchar, uh, maybe 200 characters, and this is gonna be a unique index. And this is gonna be okay, uh, that's fine, just go, don't care. And this is gonna be password, also varchar, make it 200, 200 characters, whatever. And uh, this is gonna be the role, and it is going to be varchar maybe 50 characters i will show later on what are we gonna store in that and the status to indicate if the user is enabled or disabled this is gonna be 50 and i will preview the sql statement in order to copy it so um let me just copy this thing here copy go back to our php this is the script and we create this one. So this should create the user's table. Say close here, give it a save. Okay, and okay, we have users. So let me select the users. Oh, it's already selected the user's table for me. Let me insert a record. So it will be one record for now. This is going to be admin and the password one, two, three. The role is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, each digit, the way I use this, that each digit represents a role. So a one represents the first digit. Let's assume it's for displaying all other users. Uh, the second digit for editing the third for adding and so on. So we could assign these later. But anyway, I'm just preparing things ahead and enabled. Okay, so that's it. Let's go. Okay, so we created this one. Wait a minute. Control C. And okay, so we just created this one. That is totally fine. We have no problem. Uh, so this is the user's uh, record, okay, so I have, this is the administrator, no problem. Uh, we save this one, and uh, basically the to-do list, we finish this step. We save here, go to the progress, and 2022, 01, 09. Uh, created users table okay that's fine okay so uh, control C changes yeah and create oh, okay created users table and go okay we finished this step the next thing to do <clears throat> is to create users a class Okay, so let's work on this one. Uh, basically, in the lid, I will choose to create a new file. This is going to be users. Why did I make it capital, not small? Anyway, it's all right. 
So here, this is going to be PHP. Okay, this is going to be um, class users. There we go. And this is going to be public um, user ID, maybe default minus one, public um, username equals nothing, public um, password equals nothing, and public role equals whatever and public um, status equals name uh, disabled uh, whatever okay so we have created the users uh, a class we didn't add any method so far so in terms of uh, you know a progress or our to do we finished adding users a class so I will just say here 20 22 01 09 created users class okay you don't do comments this quickly usually it consists of more work but for now it's a quick but when we get to the real meat of the things uh, you won't find it easy to create comments so you'll have to do a lot of work okay so let's continue with this one uh, right so control C copy whatever and yeah we committed this one that's fine now let's see our to-do list now we work on the administrator login page now we are talking okay so what do we need to do so the home page of the administrator this is going to be what this is going to be the login page okay so uh, sorry uh, the default will be the login page of the administrator okay so I will do the following uh, Hmm. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do some logic here. Okay, I will do some logic here. So I will call in this one session start. And the reason for this that I want to know if the user already has a session or not okay so in this one uh, also I need to make sure that I know the user for this very reason uh, I need to include the user class file you remember previously that including uh, sorry having an object in the session uh, without uh, its class included first would cause uh, problems <coughs> so for this very reason I'm gonna say include dir dot so we are in the control section so we go back one level and then we access the lib section then we include the uh, users.php file okay so we include this file uh, very straightforward and we say session start now in the home the logic of home page if uh, not a set session um, admin so I, I am going to put a variable in the session and it will be called admin so if this one is not there it means the user did not log in as an administrator so I will redirect him to the login page if that makes sense 
okay so all I have to do header location and I will just say uh, basically it's gonna be admin login if that works well and a return so the code stops here or I could say die uh, whatever otherwise the code continues and I have no problem so let's have a look at this so this is the admin uh, I will just refresh oh sorry forgot to put CMS slash save okay sorry about that so CMS uh, I will just say admin and enter and you can see it just redirect me to the login because it didn't detect who I am okay so this is the problem next what are we going to do we are going to uh, add the logic for login so here I will say else if CMS action equals login okay in this case we need to render the login page okay now the problem we have here is the following if we put the code to render the login page in here and we have lots of pages and stuff like that this will be very messy so instead of this we are going to create a folder and place the pages so the logic here is independent from the uh, interface being rendered to the end user does that make sense so here I will just say um, instead of folder control I'm going to add a new folder and I'm gonna say views okay uh, or le let me call it pages so that you don't get confused pages okay so pages is much better so for pages um, I will just say well I will create a new folder inside that I will call it admin so these will be the pages for the administrator okay and inside this one I am going to add uh, one file and I will call it login uh, .php. Okay, very straightforward. So let me see. Uh, let me go back here. All I will do is the following. So it is gonna. Uh, we are going to include dir dot and instead of going to lib, we need to go to pages. Then we go to admin. And then we go to the login.php. Okay, and finally return so to prevent rendering anything else. Okay, this is very straightforward. This is what we need to do. We save. So far, so good. Everything looks great. So um, I will just write here hello. And we save so if all is fine what should be happening is the following the root here will redirect us to the admin and based on the logic of the admin uh, it will find that we are we are not logged in so for this very reason it will redirect us to the login page 
and the logic of the login page, uh, login, uh, login page ju just includes rendering the page. So it will call this one and include it and display. Now it looks a little bit complicated for now, but later it will be much easier and straightforward to understand. Okay, so let's save this. Let's go back to our friends. Okay, oh sorry. To our friend over here, where is it? Did I close the page? Okay. Localhost CMS slash admin and press enter and we go to the login page and the login page says hello now let us create an actual login page so um h1 okay this is going to be what administrator login okay so we create a form action equals CMS slash uh, admin and the action is do login or execute login uh, it's up to you I usually use login do login sign up do sign up and so on okay uh, method equals post um, there you go and uh, simply I'm gonna create table table <clears throat> this is gonna be uh, tr tr followed by td and slash td come on and control c control v control v okay so this is gonna be what this is gonna be username oops and this is gonna be input name equal username uh, right there you go this is gonna be password this is gonna be input uh, name equals password type equals password there you go and uh, button login button it's as simple as that yeah this is it so let's go back here and refresh the page and we get our simple login page I press login and don't know what to do about the action for admin do login okay so here let's go so we created a login here and next we need to create the logic for do login <coughs> okay we need to create the logic for do login so else if this is going to be content management system action equals do login there you go so what do we have to do we need to say username equals nothing password equals nothing and uh, we are going to say if the set open that underscore post of username uh, at that point we will just say username equals post of username very straightforward 
and if set post password at that point we will say password equals post of password there you go now uh, if we have these two we could do the actual login now uh, in order to uh, you know may, um, not to make this very long I am going to create a dummy login that we will update uh, here later on so we are going to create a static uh, function that will return uh, or perform user login uh, there's going to be username I'll use UNPW that's it so I will make this is this static for now and in tomorrow's video we will access the database and check against it so uh, I will say here if UN equals admin and PW equals one to three oops one to three at that point I will just um, user uh, wait a minute user obj equals a new users and then I'll just say user obj arrow uh, username equal admin user obj arrow I will fold this one in a dummy way just for it equals one to three and user obj arrow user id equal one okay and the user obj arrow status equals enabled let's assume we loaded this from database because we need to do a little bit of work to update the database access to make our life easier but it, it won't be now so if all goes well, I will just return uh, user obj, okay? Otherwise, else return null, means that nothing is being returned here. So let's go back to this one. I'm gonna say user equal users, oh, oops, uh, you, uh, this is this one login and we pass uh, the username and we pass the password okay so you pass these two so if the user equals null it means the username or password is not valid so we just redirect to the login page again so we say uh, header location CMS uh, admin login and return that's it to stop execution else otherwise I will just say session of admin equals user so I, I said before I will use admin as a session variable to store the information and then I will redirect to the home page. So header um, location CMS admin home. And that's it. I will say return. Okay, and this is it. It is very straightforward. So this will do our login. I will get the parameter, perform the login if all goes well i will come to this part if there is a problem i will just retry the login and let's go uh, let's go back so i will just click here and let me write something rubbish for now nothing so i will just say admin and one two three and enter and it just redirected me to home Okay, it's working perfectly well. 
So let me show you what is happening, right? So um, we could debug this all the way from routing, but I think it will be better if I put a breakpoint here. And yeah, and I will have to um, close this browser and run it again to remove the session. So I'll paste this and press enter. And yeah, so let me uh, debug this. Um, oops. Okay. So now, um, wait a minute, go here. Oh, what is it? Oh, create a launch JSON. Oh, I'm sorry. So I will just listen for X debug here. Totally fine. Um, yeah. So now let us um, go back to, uh, and paste the page. So let's assume we want to go to the home page. Okay. So what's going to happen? So the root filled the values and uh, returned the value home in the action. So uh, we run here and uh, we are going to check the session and the session is empty. There is no admin object here. So what's going to happen is that it will be redirected to the home page and that's it. And uh, yeah, so now since we redirected to the home page, a new query has come for it came from a browser and this one is now is saying go to the login page okay so this is a new query we are going to check against this one and it's here so we have a login so we need to include the login page to be rendered to the end user on the browser so this is what happens okay so we have this one so let me add admin here and the password one two three and press login and what happens now is that we get an action do login this time uh, and this one doesn't match this one doesn't match and we go to do login so we have username and password we check if the parameters are available and we fill them uh, we get these parameters and then we will call the function with admin and the password since uh, they check we will get a user object as you can see here and because of that we will go to this part uh, so we will fill the session with the admin object and we will be redirected to the home page again so we get redirected so now we get to the home page again now uh, when the server checks the users uh, sorry the session it will find the admin uh, uh, admin object in it which means we did a successful login so it can render the home page for us so uh, it will render let's assume this is the rendering of the home page of the administrator and that's it we get this result okay so i think i should stop for now give me a second please uh, let's just check a few things uh, so yeah this is half filled let's say uh, i don't want to do more work for now uh, we will work tomorrow on retrieving the values from the database because i want to update the database object uh, uh, database access class okay yeah so uh, i hope you find this useful uh, that will be all for today and uh, bye bye Thank you.